Hello friends, welcome again uh, to this lecture of uh, learning Jenkins server. So here now uh, we have seen the architecture and we have uh, created some of the uh, VMs and we have installed tools, the Jenkins operation center, J Jenkins enterprise server. We have also uh, added uh, one sleeve uh, that is a shared sleeve and we have also installed Archif artifactory server now it's time to uh, configure our jenkins enterprise server so let's uh, go forward and uh, uh, okay here is my console for jenkins uh, operation center i have created the client master one client master and uh, now i have to configure my cloud based jenkins enterprise this is the actual Jenkins enterprise server now I'm going to configure that so here uh, called there is option here manage Jenkins go and click that manage Jenkins if you go there and here you can find configure system here we can configure uh, various aspect of the Jenkins server here we can uh, like some of the properties like uh, where is the JDK, where it will find, where the Git it will find, where uh, and and the Maven installation and some of the global environment variables about them, those tools, and where we can have uh, the uh, artifactory server. We can actually set up all those uh, in this section. So here uh, now. I have done some other work so you'll find already some added stuffs so um, here you see that first thing is I have to set up the JDK here and uh, if it is not configured we can uh, do it here so I just call it name JDK 18091 release and this is a JDK home where JDK where the Jenkins will find the JDK and either you can give this way or you can uh, do it automatic installation install automatically so Jenkins will try to install this so I have already installed in my VM so I don't need that and uh, here that's all I'd, I have and uh, I have uh, done that then um, git uh, installation I have installed git and what is the path you just this is the uh, git command it will use the Jenkins uh, you will uh, Jenkins will use git for um, reaching to the github and maven here the maven installation I have installed maven and I have installed in this location user local apache maven 339 and same thing as JDK same thing I have uh, done that with maven and here one thing uh, the maven project configuration here you can uh, assign how much maven should use how much memory you have to uh, give to maven to use so here i have given that minimum it uh, has to you it can go up to uh, sorry um, 512 mb of ram it can use and it, it you can go to maximum one gig normally it will use 512 and if you require it can go up to one gig of ram that is the purpose here and uh, here jenkins url you obviously this is the url here and that is what it is by default it's there github servers if you have some github server you can configure it here and okay i do have our artifact let's uh, delete this okay or you can just um, set it here uh, we have uh, already set up the uh, artifactory server right so that is 192 168 that's 60 right here 60 81 port So this is here. Uh, I logged in uh, to admin, and uh, password is my password. So 
so here I logged in same thing I have to just give it here so I here I can delete it actually now I can add another while adding artifactory at server ID and URL this is the server and you can give anything you will basically this here is just a name and username admin and here the password which I have used here to log in okay initially how to set up uh, admin is you can once you logged in with admin password here you can go admin and go to security configuration and here you can if you want you can change the password uh, here I okay admin current password and you when you go to here admin here you can give the current password after that it will unlock and then you can uh, do whatever you want with your configuration okay I just just to show you unlock and here, here you see the new password and you can retype the password to change it okay to change the password I am not changing the password we I have already done that now um, here same thing I have given now in the tester connection you see that it is uh, found that artifactory 411 and so now that here what we did we uh, set the JD JDK path JDK home then we set the maven and we have set the memory for maven and and we have added the artifactory server and that's all so go forward and save that so I'll just save it now <coughs> uh, this is the configuration for uh, the client master we can uh, for the operation center we can do the same thing uh, like go to configure in the system and here we can add the maven installation and we can uh, the this is same thing we did already and we JDK installation we have added it the get the same get as by default and the local maven repository uh, the the local maven repository you can uh, change it if you want so uh, but I'll keep it that keep the default one and same Jenkins URL and uh, that's all save it so here I just uh, did uh, some basic configurations JDK Maven and uh, the artifactory configuration for both the servers for operation center as well as the client main client um, master that is the Jenkins enterprise server oh well uh, now here what we can do is another thing if you want to enable security you you see here anybody just can log in because I, I have not as create any any security so uh, you see unsecured Jenkins allows anyone so here we have not set up any username and password so here configure global security and, and enable security here as I said uh, in our uh, basic configuration if you see Here we can the SSO or LDAP or AD server, right? We we can do that here. If you want to um, have your configuration with Active Directory, if you want to set it up, you just can click Active Directory, then do domain name, and you can go to Advanced, and you can set your Active Directory here, and you can just uh, do a <clears throat> authentication using Active Directory if you want to do with single sign-on you you can do that if you want to do with LDAP you can do that here I'm going to do with uh, the simple Unix user through the whatever whoever having uh, a user name and password in the Unix system that is the Linux system I want to use those users and allow those users to log in okay so here uh, allow the Unix users group database and you can just get get it do a test whether I can get the users whether Jenkins server get can get the user database just test it's a success okay 
here one thing I just want to tell that when you do that initially start because you have already configured it that's why it is success but if you do that it may not it ha it may get some error that the password it it see password is not ready readable right it, it may not so what you can do is um, and it will ask you actually to uh, add Jenkins as an user to um, the root directory okay so or uh, the set of users who can read the etc password so root is having uh, the authority to uh, read that file now I can what I do is uh, just and go to notepad here you can use this command called user mod minus append a minus g the group root and Jenkins so here and you can do if you are doing for uh, operation center this is OC so user mod this is the command you have to use so that what we are doing basically we are using Jenkins OC user which is created while installing the Jenkins operation center to the group called root okay and you have to also give a all read permission like ch mod a plus r to of etc password etc password okay so here uh, here are uh, the jenkin enterprise and jenkin operation center here uh, if you see the cat okay here it may not have the sudo su cat password here you see that um, the Jenkins operation right cloud based Jenkins operation center and what you, the user is OC and this has been added to the root okay so and you can say ls minus l etc password you see that uh, this is root user root and okay Jenkins as we have seen uh, we have added Jenkins OC uh, to root user and it is see readable by all it's all a read so it can this part this can be read by all the all okay so here once you do that then only it can come success so you have to execute this for uh, two commands for Jenkins to be able to uh, read the user and group database okay with that um, user and then if you want to do a project based authorization strategy do that and what I'll do is I'll add a root okay and why it is taking not taking it is success so okay for if you want to do a role based matrix I can do that so here enable security and I am doing user group database role based just save it let's see now um, log out now do a you see it is not going by default right user so it is asking root and now I could log in right so there is a catch here uh, likes uh, e sometimes it may not be if you don't uh, do it properly but due to some misconfiguration if you uh, just enable the security without proper configuration here or you don't have access to the database or something like that then what you do is okay 
uh, actually again we can do uh, if you want to do a uh, matrix authorization then I now I can add I believe for root after logging in as well yes now root I can also another p noyak I can I have now two users present so here, what I'm going to do is give root as administrator and p noyak maybe just read only read and save just to check it log out now login as pinayak that is my name panchaleshwar nayak and this is pinayak is the password a p c one two three so you see now this is read only so it does not have a lot of operational capabilities just what are my views people so on and so forth and uh, it's re it can only read the operations just it cannot do anything else right so now go back and log in as root a b c one two three okay now here we are uh, we have now configured now if you go here there is no um, uh, no warning right so here uh, now we have configured the users uh, we, with the uh, same thing we can do with uh, uh, client master as well do that manage Jenkins go and security this is not configured global security enable security go to Unix and we are all best safe what happened occur developers in please check the bug tracker okay maybe something happened um, let's check it a root I believe it is done I don't know why it is at this point I don't want to debug just um, this is a demo so I don't want to debug that just basic configurations we are doing mm, manage Jenkins now you see I have actually configured slave master security subsidy is only currently off slave to master security subsystem examine okay enable slave okay let's let's keep it now as of now okay leave so here we have configured now uh, the client master the slave now configure sleep and all okay so that's all in this uh, lecture and uh, hope uh, you just um, this is useful and we, we just configured some of the basic uh, security configurations and uh, let's see in the next video what we can do thank you